All right. Well, welcome everyone. I know it's been a while since my last video. I've definitely taken uh, a bit of a break. Um, just needed a break. Too much chess, too much staying inside, not enough mental health and, you know, um, but I am back to make some more videos. Today is officially there. There are eight, uh, no, 60 days left of this journey to meet my goal, which was to reach 2000 ELO by November 8th, 2024, which is when I started this thing. Thought it'd be fun to give myself a little bit of a deadline. I'm just going to give it my all. It's the final stretch. There's two months left. I'm just going to give it my all. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. So let's jump right into this. Probably going to be a bit rusty. That's for sure. Currently at 1894. So let's just call it 1900. And it is, and it has begun and it has ended. The 2000 didn't want to play 1900 or they didn't want to play D4, I guess. All right. That's okay. I'm kind of okay. Not starting off facing an, a 2000. Is it Nepal? All right. So we get 1885 from Nepal. We get a Scandinavian. Happy to see it. Just went over my lines. Happy to see it. Um, here, there. And just went over some traps. There's so many traps in the Scandinavian in this line, which I really like. I do. I really do. All right. I'm not really sure what that does because I can just, so I can just take a few options here. I could take, I could throw this in. That looks kind of appealing. Because then, like, let's see if bishop blocks, takes, queen takes, and then that's a free pawn. Oh, it would be pinned. So here, bishop there, takes, queen takes. I could go queen takes. It just seems kind of fun. Let's go ahead and do it, because pushing doesn't... Well, I guess he could push f3. I didn't really consider that, to be honest. But the point is, like, either way, even if he takes, you're supposed to sack that pawn because you just go for a lot of activity. Yeah, and then I guess here I'll go... Queen takes. You might think that I'm blundering my queen, except that him taking stops the pin. And now the material's even. I guess like I can try to hold on to this pawn. That could be very dangerous, but it could also be delicate. I can go knight b4. I figure this knight looks kind of silly now. Um, my music is way too loud. But yeah, you get to long castle. Bishop will come out here somewhere. Um. Just trying to think here. If he castles, I think I have the long castle. Ah, uh, but it drops the pawn. That's kind of annoying. So he can probably castle the bishop here, rook there. That's a wee bit annoying. But castles, bishop here, rook over, knight before, knight there. That's how he stops that. So castles... Nah, it's kind of annoying. I have to give up that pawn and then like move the rook over. So that's not ideal. I'd really, I should probably throw this check in. Maybe I don't castle long. That's uh, an annoying diagonal. Let it be known. Okay. But, so this doesn't really, I mean, here, castles, there, rook over. One nice thing is that it takes away that, um, takes away that square. I kind of feel like kicking the knight out, right? Because I can't really castle without losing that. Here is he gonna try to throw something in first? I don't think so. I think he has to. 
Uh, he could go there. That's kind of annoying. Here, there. Right. So I could pin first. Because, yeah, if I pin, then I can castle short. I don't have to worry about that. And... You know, because if I go here, you can hit me with knight b5. Go ahead and pin. And now, well, here, there, takes with check. King takes. Ugh. What if I want knight there? He still probably castles. I can go there. Here, I almost don't like him activating his king like that because then I have to start protecting that pawn, you know. Um, and this kind of forces him. Let's see, he could castle long. I guess I go check here, check, and then take. Uh, I'm gonna castle first. I think. Can't castle long still though here. Still there. Uh, I could just castle. Wait. Here, there. Something like a good long or a short castle. Or here, there, takes, takes. Okay, I'm just going to short castle here. I kind of wanted to play this move, but I feel like being a little bit more careful about the whole thing. Just follow, follow the rules, you know. Now I can kick the knight back, although... Yeah, because I think that it should be enough to just, like, bring the rooks to the open files, and, I mean, my pieces are looking pretty, pretty perfect there, and I can try to hold on to that pawn. Yeah, I don't think I need to overthink too much here. Now the bishop's defended. I'll still probably just take and trade off if he moves the knight. Uh, let's see here. There. Oh, takes. Bishop takes. Rook now. Nah. It takes, takes there. Hmm. Hmm. I just move the rook over. Yeah, let's just keep it simple. Okay. So here, there. Could reroute the bishop. Takes, takes. God, I wish I could push. I could take. Bishop takes, knight there is also possible. Hmm. 
Let's try that. Not really sure here. Not really sure. But I figure it adds some more protection if I want to try to push the pawn. Eventually. Not really sure, though. I mean, the bishop... Oh, the bishop's trapped. So, okay. I can take the bishop when I want to. If I do that and double the pawn structure, that's decent. He might go rook here, takes, rook takes. But then there, there. Unfortunately, that knight, man, it's kind of annoying. So I might eventually go g4 to dislodge, g5, g4 to dislodge the knight. Because, like, rook here takes, rook takes. There, here's not possible. So, you know, you have to move the rook over. And I just don't want, I don't want to lose this pawn because this could be my ticket to um, winning. I could take. He still can't take this. So I think I should take and double the pawns for sure. Uh, but then takes, 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 takes. Uh-huh. That's a little bit annoying. Takes. I don't need to do anything yet. I could try to dislodge the knight. That really seems appealing because if I go here, pawn take, or here, rook takes check, rook takes, rook takes. <sighs> yeah, I'm not so convinced there. I feel like this is either winning or losing. Because at the end of this line, if the knight isn't there anymore, then I can take... Uh, I could go h5. h5 goes there. h5 here takes, takes. Uh, that's a bit annoying. here and if knight takes what are we talking about this totally works I didn't I don't think I needed to. Thanks here, there, there. We go tanks, tanks, there. I just think we're getting a little bit low on time, so let's go ahead and get started here. I want to keep the. I want to keep the rook defending this pawn and put some pressure here. These are doubled and they're weak. If I needed to, I could always sack this pawn to go after like, ah, two different pawns. Okay, now I need, yeah, I might need to move the, Here, there. Takes, 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 takes. Okay, let's just move. Let's go rook here. Wait a second, but if he goes there, rook there, knight takes, knight. Yeah. Okay. This is tough, but I feel like now the king's coming and it's going to be harder to win that, I think. I like to play that, but. Okay, now I have to play that to cut off the king. 
I'm not going to do anything there. I don't think. Getting nice and low on time. And I'm used to it. <clears throat> Because if he tries to go after that with those weak pawns, like the king can't just, it just can't get in. If he tries to go after them, I'm going to just try to counterattack and go after his pawns. <clears throat> he does have a check here, but I'll just start gobbling the pawns, I think. All right, so we got 30 seconds. Okay. Knight here, maybe? is annoying a little annoying oh god wish there were increment If he moves, I take. If he takes, I'll take with the king. It's like either way I'm taking with the king. Okay. Let's go here. I'll move over then start taking... To go after this pawn. Here. There. Remove. Okay. That was stressful, but fun, I gotta say. All right, so I'm listening to like some, like one of those weird Skyrim songs where it's like kind of creepy, Night Without Stars. Um, so this is a fun game, Scandinavian. Uh, I'll switch the eval view here. All right. 
So I had 87.1% accuracy, my opponent 79.2. Um, uh, 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 clean game, actually, kind of. No blunders, misses, or mistakes, but I did have... <laughs> Apex, what's going on? Yeah, well, I was stressed too, believe me. Yeah, back to 1900. That was a crazy game. Like, I'm glad that I just played a bunch of Blitz last night and Bullet, because you really need it. Uh, but yeah, I had zero, zero blunders, misses or mistakes, but eight inaccuracies. The rest was, I mean, not bad. This was all theory up until this. Uh, I just have never seen Night G5. Um, looks like I did find the best response there. So it was kind of hard. I could have just taken, but... All right. Yeah, okay, that's better. That's a better move. It just cuts the queen off, but okay. Yeah, this was kind of dicey because it was like a pawn that overstretched. It's either like really dangerous or you're just down in material. All right. Looks like all this was okay. Had some big decisions there in terms of castling. All right. Cool. Yeah, I didn't actually, this, this, I was thinking that takes, 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 that he could take here, but then I'm just literally up a piece because he hasn't taken my knight yet, so I miscalculated there. I didn't need to play g5. Um, this is still even. Black has a slight advantage, but uh, okay. I thought that if I traded the rooks off, I would be okay. Luckily, I found this because now the king can't get in at all. And if the knight ever moves, then I just start I start picking up the pawns, and I feel like this is too dangerous. Otherwise, I'd be very concerned about um, these weak isolated pawns. And then, I mean, yeah, like if I had time, if anyone had time here, this is just like a matter of can you know vacuuming up and cleaning up, just not blundering. But it was a little bit challenging with the time. All right, on to game two. Man, it's so tempting when you play these, like you win and you're like, all right, cool, I'm done. Cool, let's just call it there, quit while I'm ahead. Enjoy the rest of my night, but let's, uh, let's at least play a little bit more.